102.7 WMOM. Welcome back in the KOB in the afternoon. It's Tyle Cruz Dynamite right here on 102.7 WMOM. And as I was telling our guest in studio now, Tony Memble, Tyle Cruz, actually, we got to play that song as an opener for you. Yeah. So you can tell, you know, your friends and family back home that, you know, Tyle Cruz opened for Tony Memble because he's live here in studio, <laughs> ready to play some music for us. Tony Memble sings a song, Michigan is Getting Closer, a song we've been playing for a little over a month here on Mom FM. So I'm sure you've heard it. He's going to play that live in studio today, along with a couple different tracks off your CD. Here we go. So Tony Memo live in studio. And Tony, we've had different guests coming to KOB in the afternoon, different local musicians. And what's so interesting, I think, about musicians is everyone has a different story, how they got to where they are now. Some people love it from an early age. Some people get into it later. What's the story for Tony Memo? How did you get here today in Ludington on your way to go to the East Coast, to go on a tour to Boston, New York, different cities to play your live music? What's the Tony Memo story? Well, uh, I'm, I'm from the Milwaukee area originally, and uh, I started getting into music at a young age, and uh, I always enjoyed singing and, and, um, uh, and, and you know, like singing around the house and, and listening to, to my parents' CDs and things like that. And then uh, I started kind of really getting into it more heavily when I picked up the trumpet in uh, fifth grade and then uh, played that all through high school. And, and then I uh, really developed a, a really strong passion for wanting to play the guitar when I was in the in about 14 years old, 13 or 14 years old, and uh, and uh, convinced my parents to help me pay for one, and uh, ended up picking that up and teaching myself to play. And then uh, in my in when I was in college, I started playing out at open mics and stuff like that, and starting to really try and write my own uh, singer songwriter type songs. And and from there, it's just kind of uh, I guess kind of blossomed into this uh, this career that I'm doing. I always said that the trumpet is a gateway instrument. <laughs> it, it is. It really gets you and everything. The trumpet <laughs> is definitely the gateway instrument. Tony Memo, live in studio, KOB in the afternoon, 102.7 WMOM. Now, Tony, you only have one arm. You know, you're missing from the elbow down. Talk about the difficulties, uh, you know, being disabled, but still you love the guitar, playing the guitar. Talk about some of the difficulties with that and how you've been able to overcome that. Well, from the get-go, I wasn't really sure how I was going to learn how to play, and I, I'd never really seen anybody doing what I what I do. Um, so I was uh, I experimented with a lot of different things that I could, you know, different like attachments or prosth prosthetic kind of things that actually I just tried to make on my own, and then I uh, ended up settling on just using some uh, some really strong duct tape called Gorilla Tape to secure my pick to my arm, and uh, and so. I, I learned how to play guitar left-handed, which isn't, I guess, the most traditional method of playing. It's, uh, and um, and so those were kind of some of the things I I had to go through, you know, and just talking about it in 30 seconds. But that's you know a good uh, you know, 10 years of my life learning right there. So it's uh it's been a, a challenge through and through. But um you know every day I I feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger at playing and uh, you know always working on writing new material and, and just uh, trying to grow my ability. Well, I mean, being a musician is tough enough, and overcoming stuff like that has got to be so incredibly challenging. Tony Memo, live here in studio, and I'm sure it takes a very strong support system and people who believe in you <laughs> as well to get that done. Who are some of the people that have been important to you and who you look up to, and maybe even some artists that sure. you know you look up to and you like their sound and try to kind of, not emulate it because you want to have your own sound, but people that you look, you know, admire and try to model your music after. Sure, well... Um, first of all, like uh, my family was very influential in uh, in being uh, you know supportive of me. Uh, you know, my parents, like I said earlier, just helped me uh, to you know went and split the first guitar I bought 50/50 with uh, you know putting the money forward and stuff like that. And uh, and then my wife too, she's very supportive now. But uh, as far as looking up to other musicians and stuff, I, I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan. And you know, when I started really getting uh, getting into Bob Dylan and exploring his lyrics and his, his songwriting and stuff like that, that really um, got me going, and then also Bruce Springsteen, Iron and Wine, Ben Folds, um, some uh, some more uh, contemporary guys too. I'm just kind of trying to name some. I like Ben Folds. Yeah, we can we can get on oh, yeah. Ben Folds. Ben Folds is definitely a, a good one to emulate, along with Bob Dylan, of course. Well, oh yeah. Without further ado, Tony Memo's live in studio. He's got his guitar. He's ready to go. What are you gonna perform for us first? This is called Michigan is Getting Closer. You might be familiar with this one uh, as it's been playing on the radio and. Um, this is a song I wrote for my sister, and uh, and it was just a song of encouragement. Uh, she was actually uh, engaged to a guy who went to school in Upper Michigan, and so it was kind of she was going to go visit him, but they were doing a long distance thing. It's, I'm from Milwaukee, and that's where we were living, so um, it was kind of just this like you know you're you're on your way, you're going to get to visit him, and it's it's not going to be too much longer, so you guys get to finally be together. All right, well, Tony Memo, Michigan is getting closer right here on 102.7 WMOM. Tony, I'm gonna let you take it away here. Here we go. I 
had to admit I was a little bit jealous when I saw the bus ticket sticking out of your coat pocket. Where are you going? The air is cold tonight and the moon is full, but at second glance, I'm sure it is declining, declining. You are on your way. You are on your way. Where you belong We drop you off and wave goodbye And now you're off to see him in Upper Michigan For a four day weekend the ride is long tonight, and the fuel tank is full. And before you know it, the sun will be rising. rising. You are on your Yeah, Michigan is getting closer. Michigan is getting closer. Michigan is getting closer. Yeah, Michigan is getting closer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Memo live in the Mom Studios. It's Michigan is getting closer. Song we've been playing right here on 102.7 WMOM. Now there's a little bit of a story behind that song that you were telling me before we went on air. You want to explain that because you're from Milwaukee, but it's a little bit different story about your sister, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, my sister went to, uh, or my sister was engaged to a guy who uh, went to. Well, now they're married, <laughs> but she was engaged to a guy who went to school in, in Upper Michigan, and they were in a long distance relationship, and. Um, it was. Uh, I wrote this song about a night that we were going to go drop her off at the bus station because she was going to go and see him for a weekend. And um, just kind of like, it was kind of getting long, you know. It, was, it felt uh, it felt like a long distance and stuff, but there was some hope in just being able to go and, and, uh, and visit him and, and be a part of that. So, um, and, and, you know, just kind of trying to get that picture in people's minds of, you know, like, you're driving through the night, but as the sun is rising, you're coming into Michigan and, and, uh, and it's going to be a good day. The sun's always rising, <laughs> definitely. Been. It's a lot better song now, too, that they're actually married. That the, yes, the yeah, yes worked out. it did work. It's a lot easier to <laughs> sing right now instead of reminding your sister every single yeah, time. Yes, every single yes. Time <laughs> so that's Michigan is Getting Closer by Tony Memo. Tony's got a new CD out. It's his third CD called Here We Go. And right now we're going to play a track off his new CD. And, Tony, I'll let you introduce this one. This song is called I Know I Know, and this is going to be one of the first singles off the album. And this is just this is just a rocker. This is just one to get out there and have a good time and uh and, uh, you know, and dance a little bit. That's what I'll say about that one. <laughs> 102.7 WMOM. That was a song I know I know off Tony Memel's CD. Here we go. Tony Memel joining us live in studio. Just heard Michigan is getting closer. Now that song right there, I said a little bit different feel than the Michigan is getting closer song. That's more of a, a jam band type feel. Like you said, a little bit more high tempo. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, well, this, this album, this new album that I just released, uh, or that is actually that's why I'm on tour. That's why I'm here in Lennington today. I'm I'm trying to get out there on the road and promote my new record. Here we go. Um, is and it's only available on tour right now, actually. So, um, but the, it's it's a very uh, um, diverse album. It has a lot of singer songwriter type uh, type stuff. Like Michigan is getting closer. Some stuff that's just acoustic, and then it also has some some of those uh, full out rockers that people can can get into at a more uh, more like live show setting. 
It's nice to have the di- the diversity of music too. Yeah, having some jam band stuff, having some slower stuff, but keeping the same kind of sound throughout the CD, having kind of a sound of the CD still. Tony Memo joining us live in studio, and like you said, you're kicking off the tour right here at 102.7 WMOM, which we're so happy about. And the second stop of your tour isn't a long road. It's actually just about 300 yards down Lington Avenue, going to Red Alencia Coffee House tonight. Now, what time are you starting to play there tonight? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So just an hour, a little over an hour and a half away from now, going to be at Red Alencia tonight. So tell people who've never seen you live, they've maybe heard a couple tracks of you now playing in the studio, but if they've never seen you live, what kind of performance do you like to put on? What do you like people to leave your show saying about you? I like people to leave in a good mood, uh, so that it's uh, better. yeah, yeah. Um, but tonight um, and on the on the tour, it's going to be mostly acoustic music. I'm I'm going to just be playing my guitar, just like you're hearing in the studio today. And uh, I might be joined by my wife Leslie on a few songs um, with some backing vocals and stuff like that. But uh, it's it's going to just be you know I'm going to get out there and play some songs from my records and maybe a few that you're more familiar with, uh, you know, some some cover tunes and, and stuff like that. And uh, and I just try and you know. Um, make people feel engaged and interested in, in my stories and, and, uh, and try and get everybody to, um, you know, just go away with a good feeling and, um, and yeah, just put on the best show I, I can do all the time. <laughs> well, it's the start of the tour for Tony Memo, starting right here in the Mom Studios, heading down to Red Alencia tonight. And, of course, most people know around here, Red Alencia, the perfect place to watch live music. Such a relaxed atmosphere. Tony Memo, 7 p.m. tonight, before he kicks off his tour as he goes to Boston and New York. He's in all the big cities, Boston, New York, Luddington. Mm-hmm, so right. those are the uh-huh. three places that, three. Most, <laughs> that most artists hit <laughs> when they go on tour. So I'm glad Tony decided to do that, too. His new CD, Here We Go. And, Tony, before we get into your last couple songs, here, how can we find you? How can we get this CD? How can we find some other some of your music from your past two CDs? Well, it'll it'll definitely be available tonight if uh, if you're able to make it out to Red Alencia tonight at seven o'clock, and then it's also um, it's going to be available shortly uh, on the internet on iTunes and on my website TonyMemel.com and uh, MySpace.com/slash TonyMemel, and uh, and it'll be a if you just type in Tony Memel, here we go. It should be in, in Google or something. It should be up there uh, shortly. But like I said, right now this tour is just, I just got the CDs in the mail a few days ago. So I'm hitting the road uh, and, and trying to get them into people's hands, um, you know, physically right now uh, before I release it all over the Internet and stuff. So stay tuned and maybe follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Tony Memel or on Facebook and uh and just, you know, uh, try and stay in, in touch, and I'll, I'll make sure that I can get, get them out to you as soon as they're available online. Usually Facebook, Twitter, best ways to go, because yeah. you can tell people directly what's going on, where you're going to be, and how to get the new stuff. Tony Memo, live in studio here in the Hungry Howie Live, Drive at 5. 